Well, my people, Nick Castellanos, four home runs in two days. Ah, pam, 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 on fire. See, we decide to do everything whenever we start the video. Always oh, there is something going on because whenever you need we start me. the video. You do, you do it. The but video. The, everything is in front of you. So yeah, we, we keep going. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up, my people? Let's just watch this at bat. He hit four home runs in two days. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's wait, on wait, fire. Wait, wait, stop it again. You out of the shot. Oh! Had to stay in the shot. All right. There we go. All right, and this is bad. Oh, this is in the four inning. He hit a, a slider or something. Those home runs in the postseason, they're the best. Like so much adrenaline, adrenaline going on. Fastball, 99. Boom! Missed that ball. Oh, that picture was like, oh, I threw a whore. He ain't gonna hit me. Ha ha ha. He just barely getting below that one. All right, what happened here? Look at that. A little bit below. Oof. 99. So that doesn't matter. He doesn't matter what you think. All right, right here. Lots of balls squared up for this man. One and two. Yeah, brother. Strider deals. Andre at one. Ooh. A little bit. Ooh. Let's see. A little bit below. He barely missed it. After that one hundred and one, you gotta go with off pitch for sure. You gotta go with off pitch. I would not. I don't. Has not the thing. You, Something away from the song because he was the pitcher was winning. Agata, he challenged him. Hundred miles. Another fastball. Yeah, well, he catch it. He catch it. He don't get below. <laughs> he just get right behind it. God, I don't think you can hit a ball harder than that. Damn. Castellanos. That's insane. So, okay. Right here, you can see the barrel. Something, uh, are we gonna go with details? Because he's, that was a great mechanic. I've been watching him. He got a great mechanic right here. The barrel is working around the form. If you can see the form right there, and look at the barrel working around the form and the barrel working Below, Below the, the hands. hands. That's why it's so important to keep your hands high above the ball so the barrel can work through it. That's when they, some players, some coaches, they tell you, keep your, get your hands on top or get on top of the ball. Not really like a, you want to hammer the ball down. It just, just keep your hands high. Keep your hands above the ball and the barrel working around the form and below the hands. Okay? That's money. That is dinero. That's, key. That's now, dinero. And another thing is, Posture, how you can see the posture. This part right here, triangle. the triangle right there, allow you to see the posture. If you don't be able to see this part right here, all this hole right there, that means your shoulders, they are not in the right posture. And if you don't have that, your barrel will probably coming out of the zone or you already disconnected, okay? So that's not good. Right here, with that posture, he, I can see he can keep the barrel longer, 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 longer through the song. Okay? That's a very important part of the of the hitting. Now, in the other part, when he when he go forward, he really go with a great coil. Like, he's literally all his butt all the way to the pitcher. When you have that and that coil around your back and your back hip allow you to have more power. That's why more coil you have, a good coil you have moving forward, is gonna bring more quickness because all the quickness coming from the back leg as soon as you are about to turn it, okay? If you don't have that good coil, maybe you will jump because you don't, you, you need power. Maybe you're gonna start hitting like as a transfer way, as a jumping and you don't want that. Or Hensi. Here, when he land, then the back let's start turning and look at this. 
He stay back. That's beautiful. He stay right back. There. All the release is there without leaking forward. So allow him to bring the speed. Plus, look at the barrel energy. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Blurry bad back there. Any you the barrel start coming down behind him. So then he can bring the barrel around the form like we all talk, like we talked early, with a nice posture so he can keep that barrel long enough through the song and catch up, okay? The mechanics, the good mechanics, is just not going to allow you to get in a good situation, you know? So he, just because you got a great mechanic, that don't mean you're going to hit every day. You're going to hit good every day. Depend about your competition, depend about your athletic ability. He, he put himself in a good situation that he can be a little bit more consistent than other ones because the great mechanic he's bringing right now. Mm -hmm. And more when you're on timing. And more when you play against the best of the best because you're talking about a pitcher that's throwing 101, a 99 fastball. The, it's not just about the fastball. It's about like the other things that the pitchers have plus the fastball. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it like a... Hitting in that level, you have to bring elite mechanics. And it's going to demand more, bring more elite mechanics with time pass by. So this kid today, six years old, eight years old, getting in the right mechanic, good for you. Because when those kids grow up and have 18 or 17 years old, guess what? You're going to have high schools. All the high schools going to bring somebody throwing a 98, 99. Because the mechanics and everything is evolving. So uh, that's what happened. Consistency in more in this post season. Like everything is like uh, every, everybody have their uh, their chart. Uh, pitchers, they're supposed to know what to throw. Everybody know who is who, what, what they need, whatever. And you're going to put the best of the best. Yep. And a great mechanics in this time is going to play out well. And pro obviously the timing, um, your right mindset. Castellano seems like he's having fun and he's like competing because look at this. He's hitting that ball and look at this. Woo! Throw that Whoa. back, brother. Hip it. They hit it like flip that thing. Flip that shit out of here, man. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking Bro. about. That's what's baseball Let's for. Let's go. Whoever yeah. don't like the pimp, you know what? You know what? Ah! Yeah, I'll yes. you for you, dinosaur. Get out of here. You don't like the pain, but that's what kids love. That's what selling yeah. tickets. So let's keep bringing the, the game. Let's keep bringing the fun. The fun. So keep pimping. Castellano, great, great job. job. Yeah. And now if you're a pitcher and you want to pimp, better sure, make sure you strike me out or you strike them out. That's it. But as a hitter, I love pimping. I sell tickets that bring good reels and Instagram <laughs> with good music. <laughs> good entertainment. And entertainment. Yeah, that's good marketing. Good marketing. Good marketing. Kids wanna be in baseball game and when they get excited. So we had to let we had to keep it going. Yeah, so, my people. Subscribe in Castro Bros if in you Instagram. need some help. In Castro Bros in Instagram, if you need some help. We got drills and stuff like that. Uh, or you can ask us any questions. It's almost like having a coach in your pocket, you know? So, I hope you like this and video. Subscribe over here. Keep subscribing. Let's go to 5,000 5, subscribers. Let's go for it. 5,000? 5,000. We, we, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Let's go. We will. We will. All right. That's it. People, thank you for watching. Keep subscribing. Make sure you subscribe. Let me put it big. There we go. Thank you for watching. Wow. Subscribe. My head is not even fitting here. What's up, what you do? We'll see you on the next video, my people. Bye. Bye. Bye.